Who are American Muslims? They sure want to win us Yanks over, don't they? Hey, you know, a lot of money in this country, you know, and got a lot of people become Muslims. It's, they become something. They can't figure out how to become themselves, so they become, they join a, a group, a club, uh, a tribe, a gang. Everybody wants to belong to something. How about a little self-ownership? Hmm? All right, who are American Muslims? That's kind of a clumsily phrased. I guess what they're saying is, let's talk about some famous people that are Muslims. They'll probably not do any sports celebrities. They'll probably stick with the, anybody that can connect to you know, civil rights or science or some shit. Let's see. There are over 8 million Muslims who live in the United States and representing every race, ethnicity, and culture. And welcome to America, in case I haven't told you yet. They come from all social demographic, demographics and contribute to American society as entrepreneurs, engineers, industrials, physicians, scientists, and teachers. And we thank them for their contributions and everybody else who contributes. We thank you for making things better. A little harder making things better, but it's far more rewarding. Many were born in the United States. Others migrated to America seeking a better life. The first Muslims in America were West Africans who traded with Native American tribes prior to Columbus. Later, large numbers of African Muslims were forcibly brought to the, to the U.S. to work on plantations as slaves. Very few retained their Islamic identity. They had to become Christian instead. But, you know, they're still believing the same God. It's just there's this Jesus guy in the middle. You know, but basically it's St. God, I guess. His message has been corrupted, I hear. I think the Quran is perfect, huh? Today, many African Americans are rediscovering their Islamic heritage. Medicine. From the 1930s onward, the nation of Islam, a different path not related to Islam, played a major role in bringing African Americans to mainstream Islam. <sighs> Many who joined the nation, such as Malcolm X, left it after realizing that the true teachings of Islam were universal and not restricted to a chosen race or people. Yeah, I think, I think he got to walk around the Kabbalah. And he went, oh, this is like they told me. <laughs> that guy's Eskimo when he's Muslim or whatever. Yeah. And you can be. <laughs> All are welcome. Just, you want to join, join, you know? I'll give you the information. Uh, all right. Many who join the nation, to, uh, uh, yeah, uh, like their fellow countrymen, American Muslims, were shocked 
and stabbed when terrorists attacked their homeland on September 11, 2001. Just like a lot of Baptists and fundamentalists and holy rollers are probably saddened when the Oklahoma City building was blown up with children and people. And those, like I said, the perps were Christian. So, no, we're not conflating Islam with jihad, even though, or at least the way the terrorists use the word, I think jihad also means just a struggle, you know, a mission, a crusade, something. Maybe not that last one. <laughs> it's taken in. Has an ugly thing. All right. In today's post 9 11 America, Muslims have taken on a new role. Bring, bridging the gap between the Muslim world and America, and educating the rest of America about the true and peaceful nature of Islam. Ah, that's sweet. I think the Americans are probably way behind on just figuring out what America means. <laughs> what democracy means. Because so many would just throw it in the wastebasket so that they could own the other side. Yeah, so, definitely not saying I'm just down on Islam. I am saying that I'm pretty much down on religion in general, and that's an honest statement. But I'm also intrigued by it and always have been. Look at what I'm doing here. I'm just experiencing it. This is sort of a reaction video, I guess. So I want to hear what your reaction is and your suggestions and your ideas. So, chime in, and I'll see you in the next